So for today's segment, we're going to be talking about diversity and inclusion. I want to get you guys experience because Rachel and Kendall, you both have been an integral part of our process when we look at RFPs, when we look at diversity in and of itself. Please tell us how you think the diversity climate is changing for enterprise companies from your experience. Sure, I can go first. Um, of the couple RFPs that I've gotten to be a part of most recently, I think that something that's really been interesting to consider is whether or not they're even asking about diversity. And um, I've got two examples that I can draw on right in the mix of some really heightened political times in our country where I would have thought that just no question these would have been topics at the forefront of these companies' minds. And while it was for one, I was actually um, a part of working on an RFP recently for a nationwide portfolio company um, that was a, honestly a very thorough RFP process and asked a lot of questions about our capabilities and um, our team and our company and what all we do. And as a matter of fact, diversity wasn't mentioned at all in the entire process. And so um, what this did mean was that we got an opportunity as a team and as a company to take it upon ourselves to incorporate that into our response and to point out that this is something that matters to us and this is something that we're striving for as a team and as a company, um, even though they weren't necessarily thinking about asking about it. And that was honestly really shocking, but at the same time, I think that something that we see in these processes is that it's kind of a checkbox and it's not necessarily something that has a lot of follow-up or a lot of follow-through um, to go ahead and, and say, hey, we're not just asking this to say we did, we're asking this because we care. And so to some extent, I'm honestly glad that they didn't ask if it wasn't something they were actually really passionate about and cared about in our response. Um, on the other hand, I got to be a part of an R RFP process pretty recently that, that did ask about diversity. and. While I will say the, the question was well phrased and gave us an opportunity to provide some color on what our team and what our company is doing. What I will say is while I, we did get the chance to um, address what our company and what our team is doing as it pertains to diversity and inclusion, I honestly can't say what it actually meant to them. I, I know that it matters a lot to, to the company that the RFP was for and I know that they're putting things in process. Um, to, to really respond to this issue, but I'm not yeah, sure how yeah. that actually plays out as far as their line of business and procurement process goes. And I'm not sure if they picked us because of our company's stance on, on diversity. I think it helped yeah. the process, but I'm not sure that it was actually why we were set apart.